Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to episode eight of Bitopia University's weekly discussions. My name is Amin Rafi, and uh, I hope wherever you are, you're happy, healthy, and working hard towards your goals. On today's episode, I'm going to be discussing uh, various platforms that have allowed individuals to earn passive income merely by writing articles, reading articles, or sharing them. Uh, you can compare these to your traditional centralized proprietary platforms such as Facebook, uh, though those platforms obviously do not reward you for your participation and uh, in most cases your uh, interaction with these systems whether it's watching advertisements or interacting with advertisements on Facebook or other platforms uh, as well as your uh, let's say metadata that would be interaction with various posts and your comments uh, are usually sold to third-party organizations without you reaping the benefit uh, in the slightest part. So my attempt here is to demonstrate to you how decentralized systems have shifted individuals from being in a place where their metadata is sold to third party organizations and merely uh, benefiting the organizations themselves, um, even though they are the individuals who empower uh, the platform. So you can look at it in terms of Facebook, even though Facebook has billions of users, uh, without those users, you would not have Facebook. It is the users who produce the content, who share articles, comment, etc. Uh, so despite all of that, and despite the power that these individuals bring to the platform, uh, there is no way to reward the individuals for their participation. And that's why uh, decentralized cryptocurrencies and token-based economies such as what we are building with Utopia are so powerful because they allow individuals who truly are the reason these platforms have expanded uh, to such a degree uh, are rewarded for their participation. So you can look at it as uh, you go on Facebook, you write an article, you could be rewarded for that. And that's from the perspective of, let's say, a social media platform or your medium.com or uh, let's say you write articles and you know you're doing a great job though this type of effect and change in uh, shifting paradigm rather occurs across a wide array of industries so this is for writing articles social media the decentralized technologies and uh, their implementation within various industries have allowed this shift to occur let's say if you go to the doctor and uh, the doctor wants to access your private medical records, uh, you will get a notification on your phone that would say that such and such person from this location is requesting access to your personal information and that the entirety of that confidential information is always with you. So you carry it with you and individuals can only access it upon your agreement. You can also have this occur, for example, with advertisement. Um, there are various platforms that are using decentralized protocols and what they do is pretty much uh, reward you for watching advertisements. So you can compare it to YouTube where advertisements are forced onto you and uh, you are in no way rewarded for it. I guess your reward would be that you can continue watching the video or the song that you know, you're listening to. Uh, though there are platforms using decentralized technologies that actually reward you for uh, watching advertisements, which you can then use to watch videos without having to watch advertisements. And uh, you can use it to tip the person that has submitted that video so they can earn a reward uh, for their videos. And uh, taking something, for example, like Facebook likes, you know, you have unlimited likes. And this kind of takes away from its effect and power because you can just do it all the time. And there are uh, platforms that uh, those likes are limited and uh, they mean a lot more through the implementation of decentralized technologies. So these are some examples, though they impact almost all existing industries, decentralized tools and the way they reward individuals for their participation within the network or the organization is something that is new to most people. And that's why I wanted to make this video to give you an overview of how we are empowering individuals through the use of such technologies and taking them away from that model where uh, 
you're kind of not asked uh, whether it's okay with you. You're not, you know, you, they don't ask for your permission. And a lot of times your metadata is sold for their own benefit, as I mentioned, even though you are the individuals who have made platforms such as Facebook and Twitter become what they are. Without the individuals, there are no members and there are no uh, benefits for the organization. So without further ado, that's uh, some of the topics that I would like to begin with and uh, let's go ahead. If you're new to these videos, uh, Bitopia is the world's first decentralized autonomous university and uh, that may mean something to some people. Uh, others who are new to this space may not fully understand that and that's completely okay. All you need to know is that uh, the purpose of Bitopia is to take existing knowledge and new knowledge and to allow individuals from anywhere in the world to participate within courses, add to it the curriculum and learn about what is being taught in a particular course as everything is open source and uh, individuals from anywhere in the world can contribute to the curriculum and thus uh, the introduction of wisdom of the crowd which is a very powerful uh, tool to have especially when it comes to knowledge. It gets a lot more uh, uh, deeper than that though if you want to learn more uh, you can reach out via bitopia.org, that is our website, and there at the bottom of the page, you will find our various social media channels, and uh, you can also subscribe to our newsletter. Our Telegram channel, Telegram is a platform similar to that of WhatsApp. Uh, you can find our group on that platform, uh, and it's bitopia underscore you. You can reach out, you can participate in conversations, and uh, if you have any questions, or ideas, would love to hear from you. And we also have campus.bitopia.org. If you don't want to use Telegram or download an app, you're free to access our campus website via that URL. And uh, once you sign in, you can uh, also participate in conversations in that manner. So let's begin. Um, the reason I was inspired to this talk on this particular topic is that a community member sent out an article and this article was about financial sovereignty in the new world order now is your last chance it kind of goes over the limitations of centralized currencies the damage they have caused to societies uh, around the world and some history about uh, various events that have taken place and the impact they have on individuals and uh, the reason Bitcoin and digital currencies are empowering. So it's a very good article. I will include it in the description panel so you can read it later. And uh, it was published on a platform called Publish Zero X. Now this protocol has been in development for quite some time. And uh, one of the reasons I really like uh, this particular platform is that it rewards individuals for reading uh, for posting articles or for sharing them and you can see uh, various ways where you can earn uh, crypto and this is great so if you're in countries where the average salary or the hourly rate is quite minimal and uh, if it's hard to find a job you can find various cryptocurrency platforms that offer such rewarding systems and uh, earn passive income yeah, it may not be a lot of money, though depending on where you are, even a couple of dollars could be of use. And we can see, for example, with the article that was submitted by a community member that, that this individual has earned $5.92 uh, thus far for that article, which was published uh, on the 3rd of June. So roughly over a week ago. And you can see the different cryptocurrencies that were used to reward this individual. So what's very interesting about uh, Publish 0x is that it does not have its own uh, token or cryptocurrency. And due to that, they are open to individuals coming in with various cryptocurrencies. So uh, to make this simple, you may earn tips in DAI, which is a stable coin. You can earn it in other cryptocurrencies. I don't want to confuse individuals too much, though you can see how it works. And uh, you can see that people are rewarded for their time and for sharing articles, etc. 
I will publish uh, the link in the description panel as well. And uh, so you can look into it for yourself, how it works. Again, if you have questions, reach out to us via telegram or campus.bitopia.org. And uh, I'll be more than happy to walk you through it. And we can see some of the stuff that's linked here and described. And uh, they do have an infographic that compares uh, what Publish Zero X is doing to another crypto-based rewarding platform, which is called Steemit, and uh, the limitations and the benefits, and also Medium. Medium.com is quite, uh, let's say, it's quite popular uh, among people. And, uh, you know, one of the best parts of it, can authors earn yes, yes, on Medium some? Can readers earn yes, no, no? Uh, so you can earn even just by reading articles. And then some of the philosophies of the organization, how it works, infographic describing it. And uh, I think they've done a great job, especially because they are crypto agnostic, allowing various cryptocurrencies to be used on their platform. And great work on doing that. And a great example on how decentralized technologies allow individuals to earn passive income uh, without needing to uh, learn a lot about the cryptocurrency itself. So a nice way in, smooth, and a great implementation of a decentralized technology. Now, if we were to compare it with Steam, and if you are looking to learn you know, what the difference are, if you're already aware of Steemit and Publish Zero X, uh, there is an article that does a good job at comparing both of them, and I will include this in, this, in the description panel as well. So you can have a look and learn more about both systems. And uh, again, for educational purposes, uh, I do like to refer to these examples uh, because a lot of times people are unaware of the benefits of digital and digital currencies, de decentralized currencies and decentralized systems. And these are some examples that I think uh, will give people an idea on how you can be rewarded for doing things that you traditionally would not even think about being rewarded for great job for these platforms for being able to demonstrate that to people. So now you get an idea on how you're rewarded with these uh, systems and uh, you can compare it to Bitcoin mining as well, uh, where you as an individual obviously are not mining, your hardware is, and uh, you're rewarded for your participation within that network. So we can take that framework and apply it to various things. So they've taken that a framework and the miners in this situation have become people who who write articles who read them who share them um, that becomes sort of your proof of work you could say there you go and uh, another thing that I think individuals uh, would be interested to learn about is how do you spend cryptocurrency so let's say you've on these organizational websites and platforms and Sure, I have done my part. I have earned, uh, let's say, like this individual, $5.92. Well, that's great, though. How do I spend it? What does it mean um, that I've earned this currency? You know, a lot of people are used to their dollars or euros or etc. And they know how to spend that. So when it comes to cryptocurrencies, the question can become, well, what do you do with it? Um, can you use it anywhere? And I've had individuals who really doubt that they are able to use it on the same level that they do their traditional fiat currencies or centralized cryptocurrencies. And I'm always very excited to show people this. So coinmap.org is a website that does a great job at uh, indexing various locations around the world that you can spend your cryptocurrencies at. And uh, I always love showing this pe to people because they really are surprised by the vast number of uh, locations where they can actually spend it. You can also use it as a way to look at adoption or the ability to spend cryptocurrencies within various locations. Uh, we can see in Europe, for example, a lot of places uh, due to the heat signature resembling adoption or ability to pay um, have accepted cryptocurrencies. We can see the same within the United States, East Coast versus West, West Coast. And we can see other locations like Mexico or Venezuela, Colombia, Paraguay, 
Brazil. And uh, you know, in the East, due to regulations, due to it being banned uh, or made illegal, uh, due to perhaps misunderstanding of the technology, due to the governments or the nation states wanting to have full control over uh, financial services within an organ within a country, we, we see less uh, adoption and less use. And that's something perhaps over time will change. Perhaps uh, these countries will see that it benefits uh, their expansion and innovational paths by allowing it to be spent or used. Uh, we don't know, but we can see that there's a clear difference between what's going on, uh, for example, in Europe to that of Asia. And uh, you know, in particular case, uh, we can see Australia has got a decent adoption, though again, nowhere near as strong as Europe or the Americas. Now, if we were to just explore that a little bit, um, let's say we go into Brisbane. We can see various places where we can spend it. Uh, so seven locations. Uh, we can click on it to see what it is. So it's a hair salon, so your traditional barber where you can purchase or pay uh, using cryptocurrencies. We can see a jewelry store and uh, we can see a restaurant there as well and uh, the roll shop. So it's great to have these examples to show people from the point of you can earn it this way, it rewards you, it empowers you and it makes you be the owner and the controller of your money and also this is how you spend it in your day-to-day -day life. So a lot of times when I travel, for example, uh, one of the first things I do is find locations where I can spend cryptocurrency. And what's interesting is that uh, in a lot of cases, I will merely go there just because I'm happy to spend cryptocurrency in that particular location. So even though it's not exactly what I wanted, um, maybe it's not the exact food I wanted to eat, uh, I'm happy to go there just because of that reason. And that's something to keep in mind if you have a restaurant or you have a bar or you have an online store. And uh, in the next episode, I will actually go over how you can accept cryptocurrencies in your, on, on your online store or in your merchant. Let's say you have a store somewhere, physical location, and uh, other, let's say, restaurant owners, etc. It's very easy to accept cryptocurrencies. Uh, you're not losing anything. If anything, you're opening the possibility of maybe one or two people per month coming in just because they're interested in uh, spending cryptocurrencies. And I will touch on these topics in the next episode. So to keep it brief, um, I've gone over the various topics in this talk, how you can earn passive income through decentralized systems and platforms, uh, comparison between uh, several platforms, and where you can uh, except uh, where you can spend cryptocurrencies uh, across the globe using uh, coinmap.org. That's it for today's episode and uh, hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for watching this video and uh, take care. Cheers.